Hello guys and welcome to today's episode where today we are going to be focusing on how to farm up Dark Elixir at Town Hall 9. Now I'm going to be showing you three very efficient ways um, and I am going to be showing you how to queue them up uh, the fastest way. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this. Now the first strategy is going to be uh, a very simple uh, regular barge, uh, which is going to be with 112 barbarians, 100 archers and 4 wall breakers. Now, if possible, um, it would be good to um, get some giants in your clan castle so that they tank for your archers and barbarians. Um, and yeah, let's get right into the first attack. Okay, so here we go, guys. We found a base, and we are actually very lucky. We found um, a base where the heroes are on the outside of the base uh, because we don't have to worry about them. So we won't even bother taking them out. Now the first thing we are going to be doing is uh, we are going to check for clan castle troops, which this person doesn't have, um, although he does seem kind of active. Uh, okay, so the first thing you want to do is um, clear the outside structures with uh, about 20 barbarians and 20 archers, um, and then make your um, path into the middle with four wall breakers. Um, and the uh, second thing you're going to want to do is deploy your giants so they tank for your archers and barbarians. So as you can see, we have cleared out the outside structures. Um, and it's time to deploy our giants, which we are going to have in our clan castle. Hopefully you guys have giants. If you don't, don't worry. Uh, just put your barbarian king if you have him with you. Uh, mine was sleeping. Um, I lost him in my previous raid. So let's start this by deploying our giants right here and wait for the cannon to target them and drop three wall breakers and then right we got this then deploy some barbarians and some archers and directly deploy the queen uh, and drop a heal spell if a wizard tower is in the uh, way or a um, mortar is uh, annoying your barbarians or archers and then you'd literally just spam all of your troops. That's that's as simple as that. Um, so here we go. We have to watch out on uh, the mortars. Um, it's going kind of okay. Um, deploy your last wall breaker. Uh, so your archer queen is going to be very important in this. Because she is going to be the one to get um, the most of the Dark Elixir. Because she has that very long range. I think it's about uh, 5 or 4 tiles. Uh, now as you can see the giants lasted for a very long um, time. And again here we go. The Archer Queen is locked onto the Dark Elixir. Let's uh, activate her ability. And we actually got almost every single drop of this um, Dark Elixir. Now, you shouldn't be worried about the trophies if you're going for the Duck Elixir, um, because uh, you are probably going to be losing if you use uh, the simple barge. If you are worried about trophies, um, then I will be showing you two more strategies where you will mostly not be losing um, your attacks. Now, will we get the 50%? I don't know. I don't think so. I think we're going to run out of time, but we are going to let it go anyways. Okay, we got up to 48%, which isn't bad. Let's end the battle. And um, there we go. 2000 Dark Elixir. Um, he didn't have too much uh, loot of the rest. But uh, you don't care about that because you're going for the Dark Elixir. And as you can see, you only use uh, one spell. Uh, or maybe sometimes if the uh, Dark Elixir is very protected right in the center of the base, you're going to have to use uh, two spells. Um, so here we go, that's the first strategy, and let's get right into the second one. So the second attack you're going to be using is going to be a giant healer attack. Uh, now keep in mind this is a kind of more expensive raid, um, so if you are in the higher leagues and don't want to lose trophies but still want to gain some Dark Elixir, uh, this is a farming strategy you would like to use. Um, so what you want to do is uh, queue them up exactly as I have them, Meaning 7 uh, giants in the first barracks, 2 wall breakers, 1 wizard, 20 barbarians, 5 archers and 3 goblins. And you do the exact same in the uh, last uh, barracks, except you take 8 goblins instead of 3 and 6 giants instead of 7. 
and then in the middle ones you put one healer, two wizards, and 15 archers, and that's what you do in both of the uh, middle army camps. That's the uh, fastest way to train up these troops. Uh, thank you, Leo Cool, for the um, troops, although I requested for giants, but never mind. Um, so, yeah, I, I am going to speed um, these um, troops up by uh, gemming them. Well, wait, let me have a look. Um, I'm going to be boosting the barracks, actually. Uh, I'm going to boost this one and the other one, and I'll be right back once I have my troops. So here we go, I have my troops ready, and this is the army you are going to be using. You're going to be using 2 healers, um, 6 wizards, 5 wall breakers, 13 giants, 11 um, goblins, 41 archers, and 41 barbarians. Now you can play around with the barbarians, archers, and uh, goblins and see what works out for you. Um, I would actually prefer to have more goblins than uh, barbarians and archers, but um, I didn't... Uh, train them up correctly but never mind we're going to try it out now I don't have an archer queen so um, this is going to be a tutorial on how to attack with this strategy even if you have a low level archer queen or even if you don't have your archer queen with you uh, either because she's down or because she's upgrading or something like that so let's get right into um, an attack and I'll see you there Okay, so here we go. I think we landed on a uh, good base uh, where I think we're going to be able to get the Dark Elixir. Now, I forgot to mention at the beginning, it's always good to bring one Hog Rider or something like that to um, get the Clan Castle out of there and uh, destroy it with a Poison Spell or with your Wizards. Uh, but I forgot that. Now, um, let's start off by trying to snipe this uh, Dark Elixir drill. Okay, so this is going to work out perfectly, uh, and there's enough in there as I can see. Um, so now let's deploy, I'd say, two giants to dis oh, two giants to distract, and some wizards to clear out the outside structures, some barbarians and some archers, and then we are going to start with our normal attack. Now, as I thought, there would be a spring trap there. So that's good that we got that out of the way because otherwise all of our giants would have um, been blown up of the screen. Um, and yeah, I think we can start uh, with our normal attack now. Uh, let's just get this pump out of the way. Okay, so now let's deploy all of our giants. Now it's good that this air defense is down because that means I can uh, deploy my healers um, directly onto the giants without having to wait so let's just drop our giants and both of the healers so I'm going to see if I manage to get these wall breakers oh no this is going terribly bad okay I failed with every single uh, wall breaker which is not good let's use a jump spell and deploy all of our troops and let's drop should I drop a heal spell or a rage spell I don't know oh god help me okay um, so again, I just spammed all of my troops. I think I'm going to drop a rage spell right here uh, to um, raid all of those troops. So as you can see, we are in the middle of the base, and we have lots of lots of troops um, up and running. Now I could drop a heal spell if I wanted to, but uh, I don't think we need this. Um, and I think we are even going to get the 50% by only using two spells. So let's rage our king. We have the king, we have one wizard, which is very important for um, damage. Uh, okay, oh no, we won't get the 50%. If I only had one archer, we would have gotten it. Um, oh, wait, we have five archers. So let's see what we can do here. If we can snipe this one, maybe. Okay, oh no. Okay, okay, wait. Uh, maybe we can snipe some buildings. So there's one building. Um... Maybe this builder hut? Okay, yeah. So if we don't run out of time, we are going to get the 50% wizard, which is very good. Because I want that league bonus, although it's not very much. But I'm running out of elixir, and I do need that. Um, so as you can see, we got every single drop of that dark elixir. And we saved two spells, so we only used um, two spells. One jump spell and one rage spell. Uh, now, if you would want to go further into the base, you would have used uh, one heal spell 
right here uh, where you, all of your giants were. But here we go, we got the 50% and let's end the battle. And as you can see, we got almost 3,000 Dark Elixir. Um, and yeah, this strategy works really well. Um, so give it a try and let me know how it worked out for you guys. Okay, so here we go guys, I have my troops ready. And this is the third and final uh, strategy we are going to be showing you guys. Um, this is basically a queen work or a uh, super queen, whatever you like to call this. Um, and usually I would also take a jump spell with me in case I fail with the wall breakers. But I can't be bothered to wait for it, so yeah, we're going to have to go without it. Um, now I'm going to show you how to queue them up. This is very simple, you um, take two healers and four wall breakers in the first barracks. Uh, and in the last one you do the exact same thing. And then in the middle barracks you put six giants uh, in both the middle barracks and uh, two wizards. Um, and then you just fill up the rest with archers. So 25 in one and 25 in the other one. No, wait, 23, sorry. And then you need uh, one more wizard um, or just take uh, two minions. Uh, so you don't have to wait seven extra minutes. I think that's how long it takes. Eight extra minutes. Um, so or you're going to wait uh, 40, 43 minutes or you wait uh, 35 minutes. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get right into an attack and I'll see you there. Okay, so here we go. We landed on a good base. Uh, he has a lot of loot. Uh, now I'm running out of elixir, so that's why I'm going to attack this base. Um, now, I will admit I have never done a queen walk before, so I don't exactly know how to um, explain this to you guys, but I'm going to tr uh, give it a try anyways. So first of all, let's check for clan castle troops by deploying one giant right here next to the clan castle. Okay, so I think the clan castle should be in range, so I will be... I, I'm just going to assume that there's nothing in the clan castle. And let's just start with our queen walks. So let's deploy our queen right here and deploy some archers over here so the queen doesn't go over to the side. Um, okay, so this is perfect. Now deploy our four healers on the um, queen. And now let's start the attack from the other side uh, with three wall breakers and um, some archers over here. Now deploy one. Heal spell just to keep that um, those giants alive. Uh, deploy a wizard. Okay, so the queen is going to um, the left side of the base, which is what we want. That's exactly what we want. Now deploy the rest of the uh, ball breakers. Let's deploy um, all of our minions. Whatever we have in our um, clan castle, I think it's giants. Yes, that's perfect. And um, let's keep some archers and some wizards. Um, uh, for the end in case we don't reach the 50% um, I think we should drop a rage spell Okay, no, we're going to drop a heal spell right here On top of the giants to keep them alive And as you can see the queen has reached um, the middle of the base which is very good uh, We didn't even have to use the rage spell on the queen uh, with the healers Which is actually very impressive because that doesn't happen very often um, okay, so the queen is staying alive. We have some giants over here tanking for these two wizards uh, But the main uh, the main thing sorry is the queen um, so now we are left with only the queen and um, This uh, air defense right here is actually going to take out one or two of our healers um, Which is not too good, but I hope the queen takes that air defense out quickly uh, okay, so we lost two of our uh, healers. Let's drop a... Okay, now we're activating the Queen's ability. Uh, let's drop a Rage Spell. Because I do need some more uh, loot. Um, so let's try and get that Archer Tower out of the way here. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, so we got that out of the way. Um, now the Queen is going to get some of that Elixir for us. Uh, I would actually prefer the uh, Wizard right here to go for the Elixir. Um, that would be really good if that would happen. Okay, yeah, so this heroic wizard is going to get us about, um, I'd say, what, like, uh, 50,000 elixir? Yeah, I think so. If it actually gets to that elixir, 
because we are going to be running out of time. Um, so yeah, he is... Okay, never mind, the spring trap got him. Um, but nevertheless, this attack actually went uh, much better than I expected it to go. Um, so as you can see, we got a lot of loot, and our queen was alive until the very end. Um, so I guess that was kind of a good tutorial, if you could call that that. Um, so yeah, here you go, you can see the army again. Uh, now we did use uh, some more troops, um, some more spells, sorry. Um, but uh, that's what you will have to do if you are in the higher leagues and don't want to lose trophies. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope this um, tutorial kind of guide uh, helped you out even a little bit. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Um, comment down below, possibly subscribe, and I will see you next time. Played the game and I'm still the same, and I never change just to get a deal, but I'm ballin', ballin'. I came from nothing to something like it's nothing, yeah, you know I done it, that is no good.